Okay, I'm here today with Michael Queenan of Nephos Technologies, a cloud broker, a specialist cloud broker. So I'm going to get Michael just to, to run us through what the what they do, how they do it, who they do it to, okay. and uh, try not to look quite so nervous. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, as you mentioned, I'm co-founder and director at Nephos Technologies. Uh, we are a cloud service brokerage, one of the first in the UK. Um, what cloud service brokerage is, is basically boils down to the fact that we don't have our own cloud. We take vanilla services from other people's other cloud providers and then we wrap additional value added services onto those to prov provide new go to market services. So how do we do that? It kind of boils down into three different elements. Uh, independent upfront consultancy, migration of services and then ongoing management of those services. So we're finding that a lot of people in the marketplace at the moment uh, are getting a lot of information around cloud but not sure which is the correct information, which isn't the right information. So our first piece of engagement is generally around independent upfront consultancy. The second part of what we do is to help the customers migrate those cloud services. So cloud providers are very good at saying, here you go, here's an environment, this is how much it costs. But but leave the customers to actually try and migrate those services themselves. So we're finding actually that the ability to help customers migrate those services from on-site to cloud is exceptionally important. And then the third part of what we do is the management and managed services part of it. So we've created a centralised portal which is kind of the heart of the cloud service brokerage element of it which allows customers to manage, automate and orchestrate their environments across multiple cloud providers. Um, so you can have some Amazon, some Rackspace, some GoGrid, some Cloud Signal, and it'll actually be seen and treated exactly the same way. You can set up the policies to manage them exactly the same way. And the other interesting part of it is to be able to do disaster recovery and failover between cloud providers. So we can actually provide data sovereignty and failover between different cloud providers in a centralised and managed way. Okay, that's, that's actually really powerful. Uh, that's a really powerful solution, isn't it? So, uh, how much, dare I ask, uh, what kind of time uh, element you invested in the portal? I mean, that sounds like a really big, uh, big deal. Yeah, so we spent about 18 months researching different elements. Uh, we spent two or three weeks over in the States meeting lots of vendors to try and work out actually what elements need to be in a portal and what elements don't need to be in a portal. So we've, at the moment we've got a centralised base which provides the management, automation, orchestration layer. But actually moving forward we're still investing in that. So we're doing some really interesting things on the roadmap around things like cloud decision engine. So actually being able to help customers decide which is the best cloud provider for them based on metrics that they provide us with. So we're doing real time performance testing for those cloud environments. Uh, we're doing cloud optimization. So on a month by month basis we can actually help the customer make sure that their cloud is the most optimised it can be. So not only from a cost perspective but from a performance perspective as well. So as an example of that we're doing working with a media firm who has 300 instances at Amazon but they're not sure actually how many of those are being used, what the utilisation of those instances are. So one of the recommendations we made was actually based on the utilisation they could drop those down from 300 large instances down to about 220 medium instances and get the same provision. So the optimization of that environment becomes really, really key as cloud score happens. Okay. okay. I mean, what's the? Uh, um, it's interesting to come across someone who's who's says that there's uh, a little bit of um, uh, there's there's a lot of um, there's a lot of publicity uh, surrounding the cloud, and so on, a, lot, a lot of a lot of pressure on, on, on clients to actually move move in that direction. And um, how, how do you deal? How do you how do you deal with that? How, how do you help people when they're uh, when they're actually faced with you know? On, what do I do? You know, the OMG yeah. moment, shall we say. Um, so, and that, I think that's one of the key differences between us and maybe a number of other companies out there is that we, we take a look at it from a business perspective. Um, first and foremost, cloud is a business tool. It's not a technical tool, it's a business tool. It's how do you get what your business processes are on site and optimize those in the cloud. If there's no level of optimization and if it doesn't make sense to move to the cloud, then you shouldn't move to the cloud. It's not the utopia, it's not the solution for everything. But sitting down and understanding actually what's the business trying to achieve for the next one, three, five years, and then offering ideas of how cloud technologies or services might just help facilitate that in a more cost effective or, or quicker way. And that, that's kind of what we do. Okay, that's, that's a really powerful argument. And anything else you want to say? Um, no, I think that's the point about it. Cool, that will do for now. Thanks very much.